Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Today we are wrapping up Unit 4, Lesson 20 in our First Grade Journeys unit. So we're going to be finishing the lesson by reading an informational text. Now, you all know that an informational text is um, it's a kind of text that gives you real information about a specific topic. So let's take a look and find out what we will be reading about today. All right, so we will be reading a book called Amazing Whales by Sarah L. Thompson. Now, what do you know about whales? Because I'll tell you, I thought I knew some about whales. Um, I wish that I could talk to you right now so I could find out what you actually know. But think about the things that you know about whales already. And then I want you as you're listening to think of all the things that are new to you. And when you're finished, I want you to write down three new things that you learned in your journal where you went, wow, I didn't know that, okay? So when we get together and have our meeting on Friday for English, um, I want each one of you to tell me the three new things that you learned. You can write more, but make sure that you write at least three things down, okay? Okay, so before we get started with the book, you know that I always like to point out when we have um, homonyms, right? So whale is actually a homonym. There is a whale, I don't know if you know this word, but spelled W-A-I-L. And it's like a loud cry, okay? Either from pain or from just being sad or because you're angry, but it's this long, loud, kind of cry and it's called to wail. So you could say she was so upset she was wailing all night long or whatever. Um, and the other one of course is W-H-A-L-E which is the sea mammal that we are about to read about and I already just gave you one fact about the whale that it is actually a mammal. And remember that we read about mammals not that long ago. A couple of weeks ago we read about, we talked about the differences between birds and mammals, right? So we talked about mammals, we are mammals, and there were some things that we discussed that mammals do, like they drink milk from their mothers, they are warm-blooded, and they have hair. So believe it or not, a whale is a mammal and has all, has or does all of those things. All right, so let's get to the book. Enjoy, and remember, Write down three things. At the end, you can go back. Just try to remember them. Write down three things that you learned, okay? And it doesn't even have to be a complete sentence. I just want you to jot it down in a note form so that you can tell me about it in our meeting. Amazing whales. A blue whale is as long as a basketball court. Its eyes are as big as softballs. Its tongue weighs as much as an elephant. It is the biggest animal that has ever lived on Earth, bigger than any dinosaur. But not all whales are this big. A killer whale is about as long as a fire truck. Dolphins and porpoises are whales too, very small whales. The smallest dolphin is only five feet long. That's probably shorter than your mom. There are about 80 kinds of whales. All of them are mammals. Dogs and monkeys and people are mammals too. They are warm blooded. This means that their blood stays at the same temperature even if the air or water around them gets hot or cold. Mammal babies drink milk from their mothers. Whale babies are called calves, and mammals breathe air. A whale must swim to the ocean's surface to breathe or it will drown. After a whale calf is born, its mother may lift it up for its first breath of air. A whale uses its blowholes to breathe. It can have one blowhole or two. The blowholes are on top of its head. When a whale breathes out, the warm breath makes a, a cloud called a blow. Then the whale breathes in. Its blowholes squeeze shut. 
The whale dives under the water. It holds its breath until it comes back up. When sperm whale hunt, they dive deeper than any other whale. They can hold their breath for longer than an hour and dive down more than a mile. Deep in the ocean where the water is dark and cold, sperm whales hunt for giant squid and other animals. Some whales, like sperm whales, have teeth to catch their food. They are called toothed whales. Other whales have no teeth. They are called baleen whales. Blue whales and humpback whales are baleen whales. They have strips of baleen in their mouths. Baleen is made of the same stuff as your fingernails. It is strong, but it can bend. A baleen whale fills its mouth with water. In the water, there might be fish or krill. Krill are tiny animals like shrimp. The whale closes its mouth. The water flows back out between the strips of baleen. The fish or krill are trapped inside its mouth for the whale to eat. Some whales, like killer whales, hunt in groups to catch their food. These groups are called pods. A whale mother and her children, and even her grandchildren, sometimes live in one pod. When all the killer whales in a pod hunt together, they can kill and eat a whale that is bigger than they are. A killer whale calls to other whales in its pod. The call sounds like squeaks or whistles. Other whales make sounds like groans or chirps or creaks. Male humpback whales make sounds over and over like a song. Their songs go on for hours and can be heard for miles. No one is sure why they sing. Humpback whales also jump out of the water and splash back down. Some other whales do this too. It is called breaching. People think this may be a way whales signal to other whales. What do the signals mean? No one knows for sure. Whales are the biggest animals in the world, but killer whales and sharks sometimes hunt whales, and so do people. Once there were more than 100,000 humpback whales. Now there are probably around 30,000. One kind of right whale is even in more is in even more trouble. There are only 300 left. People around the world have made rules to protect big whales like humpback humpbacks and right whales. But some people break the rules and whales have other problems. When people dump trash or spill oil in the ocean, they destroy the places where whales live. Whales also get hit by boats. They get caught in fishing nets. If they are not freed, they cannot eat or swim to the surface to breathe. Scientists go out in boats to count how many whales are still alive. They also follow whales and listen to the sounds that whales make. They ask questions like, are the whales in a pod one family? Do they signal to each other? Do they stay in one place or swim for many miles? Everything scientists find out will help us keep whales safe. New rules help us to protect whales. The number of humpbacks has grown, but many whales are still in danger. All whales need help to survive. People can keep the ocean clean, we can make safe places where whales will not be hunted or hurt by boats or nets. With our help, whales will swim in the ocean for a long time to come. All right, everybody, so what did you think? Did you learn a lot? You might have to rewind it and play it again. There was a lot of information in there. Um, I was planning actually on telling you right now 
some of the things that surprised me, but I realized I think I should wait and I'll, I will take my written list, which I already wrote so that we, I can tell you in our meeting what I thought was interesting so that you don't copy my ideas. Okay. So everybody bring your own. After you have written down the three new things that you learned in your journal or any piece of paper, you are going to log on to Raz Kids. It's been a while. So log on to Raz Kids and you will find an assignment. I already assigned it to you. Um, it is about sharks. So now that you've listened to me read to you about whales, now you will read to yourselves about sharks. And you can think about the things as you're reading that are similar or different about whales and sharks. Um, when you are finished reading, of course, complete the questions that come at the end. All right, when you are finished reading and answering the questions online on Raz Kids, you are going to um, complete these two worksheets that you see here. The one on the left is about compound words. So it goes nicely with what we have been studying in our journeys unit lesson 20. So you're gonna look at all of the words in the boxes on the top, under, motor, ground, sun, all of those words, and you are going to make as many compound words as you can possibly come up with, okay? And you're gonna write them in that box where you see the shark. Then below, for numbers one and two, you're going to write a complete sentence for each one using one of the compound words that you wrote in the box, okay? So you're just writing two complete sentences. And then the page on the right, you are going to read that um, paragraph, okay? And you need to add periods to the sentences where they are missing. There are a lot of periods missing. And I noticed that we are in our own writing still missing a lot of periods. So I think it's a good exercise to go through, all right? Please go through and write the appropriate punctuation where necessary. And then you are going to write one sentence on your own about sharks, okay? Write one complete sentence about sharks. Remember capital letters, finger spaces, punctuation, and write neatly, all right? And that is it, my friends. Um, so enjoy reading Raz Kids. I hope you enjoyed learning about whales, and I will see you tomorrow in our meeting, all right? See you then. Bye-bye.